all the core things, getting a good night's sleep, eating a good breakfast, and helping your student have positive thoughts. The test-taking tips are tried and true, but taking the test will feel all new. That rhymed. Uh -huh. If you have a high schooler headed to college, they won't have to fill in bubbles for answers on their SATs anymore. Starting next month, the exam is going digital, but is CPS ready for the changes? We've had a lot of time to be able to work through that transition. Put the number two pencils down. In March, when the next round of students take the SAT exam, they'll do it on a computer. The test will now be offered on an app called Blue Book. Chicago Public Schools learned about the changes last year, so they've had plenty of time to prepare. We wanted to make sure we were learning alongside others, so we've been working with the College Board and all other large urban districts to make sure we have all of our planning in place. The new SAT will be shorter, two hours instead of three. Some portions have been combined into a single section, and results will be ready in a matter of days. A calculator is built right into the app. Students can use it for the entire math section. But Peter Leonard with CPS says the most impactful change is the adaptive aspect of the test, meaning it adjusts based on a student's performance. All students are taking a similar first stage, and then based on how well a student does, they'll either move on to a second stage that is more rigorous or harder, or a second stage that is a little easier, all through the goal of getting the most precise capture of what a student knows and is able to do. The test will still be taken at official testing sites. It'll still be scored on a 400 to 1600 point scale. The Blue Book app will time out the tests, and I'm sure you've been wondering, yes, the app will restrict students from opening tabs to, uh, let's say, get hints. <laughs>